everyone. I'm Arthur E. Benjamin, founder of American Dog Rescue, and this is, according to Bandit, For the Love of Dogs. And I'm Tara White, and we've invited the biggest and smallest dogs to our set today. You're first going to meet Fluffy, a very lovable St. Bernard, Mike Laris, and Bree McKenzie are here to tell us more about. <laughs> And their St. Bernard Rescue. I Welcome, knew, you guys. And you weren't kidding when you said fluffy. <laughs> Look no. at all this hair. Look at all this hair. Look at all this dog. <laughs> and that is what you get. I mean, you get these big guys. These are rough coat St. Bernards. And they, they are seasonal heavy shedders. And this is the season for it. It is the season for Definitely. it. Definitely. Uh, well, tell us who you've brought with you. This is Bronx. And this is Frankie. And they're both uh, rescues, and they're both available for adoption? They or? are both available for adoption. They uh, have both been rescued from different levels of bad situations. Mm -hmm. um, we've got um, Bronx over here was not given the attention and the training he needed as a puppy. Uh, he was not socialized, so he's a little bit more energetic. He's very curious about everybody and everything. Uh, at home, he's calm and, and quiet. You take him out on a leash and you're going to have some, some issues. <laughs> and we're working through those issues. That's what we do in rescue. We try to get them ready for adoption so that they're going to go to a new home and be good dogs for someone. See, he's calming down. <laughs> yeah. And I heard a rumor that he actually doesn't mind sharing a bed. Oh, no, my goodness, no. He crawls in bed with me, and typically he will stay to one side. But <laughs> about a week ago, I was, I was really quite sick. I had some sort of shivers and chills. And he just got in bed, and uncharacteristically, he just curled up right next oh. to me oh. all night long and kept me warm. That was awfully nice of him. That well, was that's the nice human-animal bond. Tell us a little bit about St. Bernard Rescue. Well, St. Bernard Rescue, uh, we are the rescue arm of the American Kennel Club, St. Mm -hmm. Bernard Club of America. There are chapters all over the United States. We are the Texas chapter. Oh, no. uh, we are statewide rescue. So we've got, we will rescue any St. Bernard anywhere in the state of Texas. We also uh, work in, in Louisiana. Uh, we'll take some from Oklahoma if necessary. Uh, there is an Oklahoma rescue, uh, but that rescue is smaller, and they often need help. Uh, uh, four years ago, we took a mother dog, a father dog, another adult female, and nine 10-day-old St. Bernard puppies out of uh, Tulsa, Oklahoma. Wow. wow. So how many saints have you rescued? I've probably had, in the last seven, eight years, I've probably had... Oh, I don't know, 75 to 100 St. Bernard's come oh through my, my house. Goodness. How many are in your home now? Uh, just two. Well, two and a, two and a quarter. Uh, <laughs> I've, got, I've got this big boy. I've got my own St. Bernard who um, uh, I did not bring. He was uh, sadly just recently uh, diagnosed with, with, uh, with cancer, bone cancer. Oh, no. And he lost his leg a few weeks ago. So oh. I didn't bring him. Uh, and I've got another St. Bernard foster that was, um, we were told the mom was a St. Bernard and the dad was something. Well, it looks more like a terrier. I think he wants to say hi to Bandit. Let's oh my goodness, he hi. does. He does say want hi. to say hi to Bandit. Hi. We'll let him say hi. What does someone need to know before they uh, adopt or foster a St. Bernard? If you are of a fastidious nature, mm -hmm. You want to think long and hard about adopting a St. Bernard. Why would you say that? <laughs> <laughs> they shed, they drool, uh, and those size 13s will yeah. track in an amazing amount of mud. I know. Do you and think that they're hard to train? As puppies, no. My St. Bernard is wonderfully trained. And believe it or not, he's better than he was. I have been working with him. His biggest problem is excitement. When mm -hmm. he gets excited, all of his training goes out the window. So how are they with kids? Uh, your typical St. Bernard is wonderful with a child. Uh, him, I would, just because of the excitement level, I'd be a little bit more careful with. But my St. Bernard, 
I mean, kids come up to him all the time and scream Beethoven and throw their hands around his neck. Uh -huh. You know, I don't know much about the breed itself, but in watching um, Bronx here, mm. he seems to be using his scent more than his eyes. Would you they, say that's accurate? Oh, my goodness, yes. They, uh, they are very scent-oriented. Uh, they are, I've been told that they are capable of smelling someone buried under 20 feet of snow. I'm not necessarily certain that I believe that, but I do know that they are very scent-oriented. They're not, they're, they are hounds, but they're not typically scent hounds, but uh, they do have that, you know, the ability to smell very well. It's similar to like what you have in the bloodhounds, the droopy jowls, all of that is to, is to concentrate the scent. Mm. Now, do you guys have any events coming up? Uh, we do a, a, a combined adoption event once a month uh, with Texas Great Peer Rescue at the Denton, uh, at the Denton Pet Smart uh, mm -hmm. on, on Loop 288, third Saturday of every month. <laughs> I know. So if you want to adopt a St. Bernard, mm -hmm. you go on which Saturday of the month? Third Saturday of the month. Third Saturday of the month, go out to the Denton Pence Pets Mart. Yeah, that is correct. Or you can go to our webpage at uh, strescuetx.org. All of our animals are listed up there, and as well as information on the breed, on the rescue, how you can help, uh, and you know general information. So that is where someone can go. And how many saints do you think you'll have there? Uh, typically, we'll have one or two uh, at the event. Uh, we'll bring, because we are a statewide rescue, mm -hmm. our saints are literally all over the state of Texas. We've got them down in Houston, down in Galveston, here in Denton, further north. Uh, we've got them uh, in Austin. So they're sp because they are spread out all over the state, we don't typically have a large number in one place, but well, that it does makes happen. Sense, well, you can learn more about St. Bernard Rescue by visiting their website, saintsrescuetexas.org. And still to come, meet the creator of Teacup Tutu Charm and find out what your dog might look like in a tutu. Every year, families in North Texas unknowingly spend hundreds of thousands of dollars in support of neglect, abuse, and disease. When you buy a puppy from a parking lot or flea market, you could be supporting the cruelty of puppy mills that profit from dogs bred in abusive conditions. Help us stop the cycle. To learn how, go to spca.org slash no puppy mills and take the puppy pledge. So I just moved in with this family and it's embarrassing. The little one, he likes to go outside and crawl around in the giant litter box. I don't know what he's doing. I mean, I was born and I knew how to use the litter box. Look at that. That's disgusting. Oh, poop already. You're making me nervous. Oh, okay, I can't look at this anymore. I really hope he grows out of this for his sake. My name is Teresa. This is Scooter. My name is Amber. This is Duke. I'm Dr. Dixon, and this is Annie. I'm Emily, this is Jackson. I'm Kelsey, and this is Skittles. My name is Miko, this is Chloe. My name is Ty, this is Callie. My name is Tamar, this is Simon. My name is Renee, this is Snowball. My name is Dr. Miller, this is Fletcher. My name is Eric, this is Sport. My name is Stacy, and this is Britches. And I'm a pet lover first. And I'm a pet lover first. Know what? What? Since I got adopted, I've learned a lot about these humans. Uh, I know. I mean, check out these two. It's Flirt City over here. Yeah, I noticed that. It looks like my human is definitely into your human. Oh, look! I think she's getting his number. Nice. Your human's got some sweet moves. Takes after his dog. <laughs> oh, look, they're doing that thing where they put their arms around each other. She kicked up a leg. It's like in the movies. That's awesome. Looks like we're going to be hanging out a little bit more. Welcome back to For the Love of Dogs. We just met one of the biggest dogs, and now for the smaller breeds. 
Lisa Ballou, the owner of and founder of Teacup To Do Charm, is, uh, it's a special boutique that outfits dogs in beautiful tutus. Lisa's here to show us some of her collection with a group of tutu dog models. Absolutely. Wow, welcome. Thank you, thanks for having me. And who's the little tutu, where this are they? This is Bella. Bella? This is Bella. She's Bella's a little nervous. Chihuahua. It must be that all of those diamonds around her. <laughs> <laughs> Chihuahuas are just nervous. She's just not sure about all this. Well, tell us really a little bit though. about Hi, Teacup Tutu Charm. Well, I started my business about a year or so ago. Uh, I started out basically selling um, with my website and quickly ventured out into several pet, re uh, pet boutiques, pet resorts. I have um, Dallas-Fort Worth area covered. I have New York City. I have North Carolina, California. So I'm expanding rapidly. Yeah, you are. Yeah, so a lot of interest then. Yes, yes. And it's so much fun. Oh, I bet it, it is It really fun. is. Now, do you design all of these? I do, yes. Well, let's see. Can you show her so we can yes. kind of see what she has on? Yes. Look at her little tutu. Look at all the these, detail. Yeah, it's got little just, rhinestones uh -huh. going down. How big is your collection? Hundreds. Wow. Nice. Do you take specialty orders? Oh, absolutely, yeah. Most of my orders actually are specialty orders okay. because it doesn't matter what you have or what style you have or what color you have. Somebody always wants something different. And you've sold to some really big celebrities, too. I have, yes. Yes, I have. And one of the celebrities that comes to mind is uh, former President uh, George W. Bush. Mm -hmm. I actually sent Miss Beasley a tutu. Oh. Um, and he was kind enough to send me a thank you note back in the mail. Oh, how nice. nice. So that was very special. That is very special. Yeah, well, it it's was. a very special thing you're doing. Yeah, thank you. So how did you first get interested in doing this? What made you come up with the idea? Well, I'm a dog lover. Uh, I've worked with dogs in the past. I worked with, uh, with a couple of pet lodges and just love dogs. And I love to be creative. Uh, just the thought of, you know, seeing the dog and dressing him up and, you know, just seeing the end result is just very rewarding for me. Bandit's afraid we're going to put him in a tutu. Bandit might want a tutu, you know? No, I don't I think mean, so. He's running away from the tutu. I don't know. Well, we could try it. We could try it. He Is there like it. a uh, charitable connection with your company? Uh, actually, I have several. Okay. Um, but the newest one that I'm working with is uh, Joanna Krupa. Oh, uh, nice. She, she Love is her. The, uh -huh, she's an amazing, amazing woman. Uh, she's got the Angels for Animal Rescue organization, mm -hmm. and they're in California. So I've just recently designed an uh, Angel Tutu line strictly for her and her rescue. Oh, nice. So That's a really portion great. of the proceeds go to the dogs. That's wonderful. An Angel yeah. Tutu line. An Angel Tutu line. That's great. Yeah. And when did you start this company? You said... It was November a year ago. Okay. So 2012. And you've already an spread over that many states? I have. I have. I'm a very high energy, high energy person, and I'm just constantly, I always have ideas, and I'm always thinking of new things I can do, new creations, new designs. How long does an order generally take once someone places it? Oh, well, if it's just one two, two, mm -hmm. I can usually do it in about 24, 48 hours. Nice. But if it's, you know, several, you know, then mm -hmm. it takes a couple of days. So. so how often do you have to go to the fabric store or go shopping? I'm going all the time. Yeah? Uh-huh. <laughs> well, you've brought a, brought a few models of these tutus with you today. And I did, love right. to Absolutely. see them. We have yes. a fashion show. Yes. A tutu yes. fashion today. show. That's right. So let's Come get on this out. tutu fashion show started. Oh, look what we have first. Here comes. Hello. You want to okay, describe them as Dina. they come out? Yes. Uh, on out. This is the red sparkle tutu. Oh. Now, Sparky does not know what exactly for sure what well, he wants okay. to do. That's okay. She looks Come on up, Sparky. Cute. But she's modeling the red sparkle tutu and just modeling it so perfectly. <laughs> there she goes. Look at that. Look it's at sparky. that. Gives her a little bit of color. Yes. Doesn't really yeah. pop her eyes, but that might be her haircut. <laughs> That's adorable. But she, she looks excellent adorable. in red. Thank she's you. Really she's adorable. She great. And our next is? Yes, who do we have this next? This is Princess Glitter. Princess Glitter. And she is wearing the bright yellow tutu. Oh. Come on up, Princess Glitter. Hi, Princess Glitter. Look at you. <laughs> Go on up, Princess. See, there's so much to Go smell. On, princess. Go on. Isn't she adorable? Yes. Yeah, Look is. at that. And that is a pretty it's, good sized tutu. Yes, yeah. yeah. It's a really good color for her, too. It is a good color for color. her. How sweet. Yes. You know, they seem to actually enjoy wearing them. Yeah. How? She barely actually, notices mine. it, but she looks great in it. 
<laughs> and our next is the blue tutu. Yes, this is Muffy. Muffy. Muffy, we're in the blue tutu. Muffy, come on up here. Hi, Muffy. Oh, Muffy's Muffy. pretty cool and laid back today. Look at that. He doesn't mind it at all. That is very <laughs> nice, and that is a great color. <laughs> That's just so funny. <laughs> you know what? You almost just want to have one to wear around the house. Yeah. We'll get you one for it. Okay. <laughs> I need a couple. You are sweetie pie. How great. And next we have a, a, a Tucson. Oh my Yes, these are goodness. the pair of pugs. It's Gigi and Bella. And they have wow. the matching pink flower tutu. Look at them. Matching tutus, no less. Wow. They look great. Good girls. Good girls. How yeah. fun. I do a lot of people who order want their, their animals to match. Do you oh, find, always. Do you find you a lot of yeah. matching ones? And actually, it's surprisingly, a lot of the owners want to actually have something that matches too. So Yeah, that and makes kids, sense. That's something that for Easter, I'm going to branch out and do some kids and some dog a little set for Easter. Oh, how nice. Yeah. That's a great Thank idea. Thank you, girls. Yeah. Thank you, ladies. Thank you, Bella and Gigi. How fun. <laughs> That's our show. Almost. Well, now, have you ever um, done anything for children? Uh, well, I haven't because my primary, my, I'm, I've got my hands full mm -hmm. of the dogs. Oh, I'm sure you do. I would love to, and I have done it, mm -hmm. but my focus is, is the dogs. But for Easter, I'm going to go ahead and expand for It makes sense because yeah. I can see if someone's going to do a tutu, and especially if they've got a little toddler. Absolutely. I mean, how yes, can you not? they're adorable when they're matching, matching sets. Yeah, that's going to yeah. be fun. Yeah. Well, I am so happy for you that well, you have you. this. And look how thank sweet you. she's so poised and collected now. She is. Did you make her little necklace also? Oh, no. No. That's fun. Teacup Maybe. tutu charm. Yes, such charm these teacup yeah. tutus have. Uh, not to you. mention the beautiful models and the beautiful models that were modeling, walking yes. the models. So what a show, huh? Yeah. We, it's not every day we get Thank you for a, coming. Thank, thank you, thank you very for much. coming on and being show. with us and demonstrating you your line of clothes. Okay. So teacup tutu charm can be found off Pioneer Drive in Irving. You can call them at 214-541 4165. For more information, you can also visit Lisa's website, teacuptutucharm.com. Still to come, our rescue story of the week, so you don't go anywhere. Hi, I'm Cheryl Crow, and I'm a musician and a mother, and this is Buttercup. She's also a mother, but not by choice. She's a survivor of a puppy mill. Buttercup spent her life in a dirty wooden hutch, forced to produce litter after litter. She never went to a veterinarian or a groomer. She never had a soft spot to rest or a kind touch. She existed this way in cruel isolation year after year. Puppy mills are mass production factories where mother dogs suffer their entire lives, producing nearly 100% of puppies sold in pet stores and on the internet. When these dogs are no longer able to produce, they are often destroyed. Buttercup's nightmare ended the day Animal Rescue Corps saved her life. She finally knows what it means to have a loving family, but for the millions of dogs suffering in the estimated 15,000 puppy mills across the United States, this nightmare continues. Animal Rescue Corps and I ask you to visit your local shelter or rescue when choosing your next animal companion. You will not only be saving a life, you will be helping put an end to this cruel industry. Please go to AnimalRescueCorps.org to learn more about ending puppy mills. Buttercup and I thank you. So, I got this new family. And I don't know what it is about this one, but she can't seem to put down that toy all day long. Tap, 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 tap. Oh, and she even talks to it. She talks to that more than she talks to him. What's up, bro? Nice shirt. Who's she talking to? Her mom? She talks to her mom a lot. Live with a human for a while, and you get to know a few things. Like, I know she's actually not a morning person. I know she does strange tricks for no treats. I know that water makes her howl like crazy. I even know how the floors stay so clean. 
She's quick. But the one thing I will never for the life of me know is how she gets so tiny and inside that box. Natalie, how do you get so tiny? So, I'm kind of new here, but I've noticed a trend. My human does this funny thing where she goes around and gets all my toys, and then she hides them in that basket by the door. You know, but it's always the same basket, and it's always in the, in the same place. And then she acts so surprised when I find them, but, you know, she's putting them in the same basket. Again. It's like, hello? That's where you put it last time. You were the worst at hide-and-go-seek. Welcome back. Before we get to our rescue story of the week, we wanted to remind you, yes, Bandit? We want to remind you that there's still time to help recognize Bandit as our hero dog. Arthur, can you remind us about the 2014 American Humane Association Hero Dog Awards? Well, Bandit's been nominated as a hero dog, mm -hmm. as a rescue, as a service dog, and as a spokes dog for literally dozens of charities. Bandit, in two and a half years, has done more than most dogs have done for himself, for people, and for dogs. And this year, he's running for Hero, of, Hero Dog of the Year for American Humane Association. And you can vote for him every day from now until June 7th, once a day, from any, as long, from any email address. Okay. You can vote for him once a day at herodogawards.org or simply voteforbandit.com. Yeah, you can go He's to voteforbandit.com. You can do that from your work email, you can do that from your home email, and you can encourage your family and friends to do that too. Let's help show Bandit what a hero he really has been. Well, He's grateful for all of the votes he'll get, and he's really thankful for what he, he's been able to do on this show. So, voteforbandit.com. Time for our rescue story of the week. Today's successful adoption comes from St. Bernard Rescue. Mike Laris is back, along with Haley Forsyth, who adopted Tank, who you can't miss. <laughs> Welcome back, Mike. Thank you. And Tank, he's so handsome. What a sweet man. He is very sweet. Uh, he was... Pulled from the Dallas Animal Services. Uh, when I got him, he, he spent about two months in my house. He was very skinny. His fur was, there were patches missing. Uh, it was very coarse, uh, probably because of bad nutrition or no, not being fed properly at all. Uh, yet his personality was just utterly sweet and exactly what a St. Bernard should should be and when we got when his dime for adoption came uh, Haley stepped forward and it turned into something really rather great. Well Haley tell us a little bit about that. How and why did you want to adopt him? Oh well um, my mother and I own a business selling St. Bernard kegs and we had a booth at Denton Dog Days, I believe. Mm -hmm. And he bought a keg from me for his dog, and he had this foster with him. I just fell in love. And, you know, from that day, all I wanted to do was adopt that dog, did everything I could to make sure I got him. And he turned out to be just a great addition. Tell us a little bit about how the two of them play together, because I saw it before the show, and I could not believe <laughs> Yeah, um, he's excellent with kids. You know, all St. Bernard's, they're so good. Um, he loves Holden. Holden just crawls all over him, and he won't move. He won't move a muscle, so got nothing to worry about. So well, who's Holden's easier to manage, Holden or Tank? Tank. Holden, you want to walk around? <laughs> Come visit me, Holden. Yeah. We'll let you walk around, Goodbye. old man. <laughs> Holden likes to walk. So that really is amazing, because yeah, they're just walk. They're just together. <laughs> Most people would be scared, I think, to have a child with St. Bernards, but St. Bernards are actually notorious for being really good with children. They are very good with children. The only real issue with St. Bernard's and children is St. Bernard's are leaners. So they will lean up against people. Hold it, look, it's tight. And you get a St. Bernard leaning up against a small child, and they're both going to fall over. Or a woman in heels. Yes. Yeah. yeah. It, it could happen, too. <laughs> but they seem to get along so well. So how has he fit you into just, the family? You just added new definition to the command heel. Yeah, that's right. That's right. So that we don't keel over. Well, how does he fit into your family? 
Um, he's so loving. Um, <laughs> he, uh, he plays with my little dog, he plays with Holden all day. He sleeps upstairs with me. Sometimes he sleeps in the bed. At, at some points, I'll have him, Tank, and my little one, all three in there together. So it's crowded, but um, he's just perfect. I, I couldn't ask for a better dog, better adoption. Uh, the St. Bernard Rescue was absolutely wonderful. They did everything they could to make sure that he had everything he needed and was up to good health. And they helped walk me through the whole process. He had a little bit of separation anxiety and some skin issues when I got him. He needed to gain a lot of weight, and they helped make sure that he, he got healthy and happy. And now we love him. That's wonderful. Well, he looks like he could use another 200 pounds. <laughs> How much do you think he weighs? Uh, he's mm. about 115 right now, which is, is actually kind of low weight for St. Bernard. Um, I think they get up to about 200. So. <laughs> There's, there he is doing what he does. There's the famous <laughs> Beethoven they got me move. Too. Yeah. Now, so how many other, is this your only child or do you have another one? No, that's my only child. So he hasn't even got to see the movie Beethoven's yet? No, we have not watched Beethoven yet. We watch Peter Pan though. Oh, nice. With Nana. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, but he does, my friends have children mm -hmm. um, and they come over quite often and he plays with all of them. Oh, I And of course they're all terrified at first with their babies. Sure. And just watch, just watch. And then, you know, by the time they get used to him, their babies are all loving on him too. So. Wow, <laughs> and he's amazing and he's looking out, he's watching to oh. see where that baby went. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks so much for telling us Tank's story. And we really love meeting dogs who have this incredible human-animal bond, <laughs> who love, as we can see right here, who love humans as much as they love life. And um, I'm afraid we've run out of time, but it's been a pleasure having you all here and seeing the love of uh, Tank for uh, Holden. Yeah, congratulations. Thank, Thank you, you for having us. If you want to learn more about For the Love of Dogs or American Dog Rescue, visit our website, americandogrescue.org. You can also follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. For all of us here at For the Love of Dogs, thanks for watching. Vote for Bandit, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>